Hey guys, my name is Brian Fleming from buildingsocialproof.com. I am recording this video on Periscope and for you replay viewers, you might be watching it on YouTube or iTunes or on my blog. If you haven't yet, boy man, from your iPhone or Android phone, go download Periscope. It's a great app and then you can hop into the video live like the other Periscopers here and you know what? You can ask questions if you want as I'm going through this content and you can get help firsthand rather than just watching a video. I mean, don't get me wrong, love that you watch a video, but the experience is so much richer on Periscope. Can't recommend it enough. So anyway, like I said, my name is Brian Fleming from buildingsocialproof.com and today I wanna to give you some tips on how to use Facebook for your business, you know? what's working and what's not working. And I'm kind of gonna skew this toward people who are more getting started because I think at least the people I work with, more often than not, that's the boat they're in. They're, they're kind of getting started with Facebook. Uh, things usually are not working how they thought it should work with Facebook and they're pretty stuck and frustrated on what they should do. So let's talk about it. Now, the first thing what most people do, and heck, you've probably done this, is you do what Facebook wants. You go make a page for your business because that's what Facebook says to do is go make a page for your business. So maybe you've done that. I've talked a lot about it. Uh, so you go make this page and, and that's all well and good. And now what do you do? Well, Facebook tells you to start posting stuff to it. So maybe you've done that. And they also want you to start building up likes to your page. Well, what's supposed to happen is as you get people to like your page, and that's all on you, by the way, Facebook's going to do nothing to help you get likes to your page. So what they want you to do is go out there and go promote your Facebook page to people and get them to like it. Now, I've talked about it a lot before, but if 100 people like your page and you post something to it, you'll be lucky if 10 people ever see it. And that's where people are getting frustrated. They're asking me, Brian, how do I get more people to see my stuff? Because I've worked hard, I've gone out and got likes, I've gone out and built this page, I'm doing what Facebook wants, and what kind of post should I post to get more people to see it? That's the question I get asked, and that's where people get screwed up, is they spend all their time focusing on, what do I gotta do to get more people to see my post? Well. Actually, there's a little joke in there that Facebook doesn't want to tell you. And the joke is they're not going to let a lot of people see your post unless you pay them money. So the first strategy I have for Facebook is if you're trying to grow your page and promote it, stop. Pages are pretty much dead on Facebook unless you want to pay them money for ads. And I'm going to talk about that strategy later. Basically, pages are dead on Facebook, so don't waste your time with it. Um, you may see people who have started pages a few years ago and may have four or 500,000 likes on it. Yeah, for them, it still makes sense to post to their page. They'll still get a percentage of those people that'll see their stuff. But for someone starting out right now, brand new in 2015, it behooves me why you would make a Facebook page unless you just didn't know any better. So I'm telling you, that does not work. I have not, I've heard of very, very few people having success starting up a Facebook page without buying ads and it just taking off and rocking form does not work. So let's put that on our list, things that don't work, creating a Facebook page and trying to promote it, promote it and spending our time trying to get more reach. Let's not spend our time doing that. It's not effective. It's kind of just a big waste of time. So what is working? Well, basically, and I've talked about it an awful lot, Facebook wants you to buy ads. I'm gonna talk about that part second, but I wanna give you a good tip of what is working for people. What can you do without spending money on Facebook that works? And here's one that works. First thing you want to do, go to your personal profile and change your job to your Facebook page. Ha, huh, that's a use for your Facebook page to link it to your profile. So your job's going to be your Facebook page and your job title is you just type click here, click here. It's going to be your job title. I'm going to tell you why in a second. Click here and it'll tell you the rest. Click here to visit my page. So your profile is going to look a little strange, right? It doesn't have where you work. It has your Facebook page and your job title is click here to visit my page. Now, why the hell would you want to do this? You want to do it because what's working in 2015 on Facebook is meeting people and they want to know who you are. And so they click on your profile and this is your personal profile and they see your page is your job and they click through to your page and they're highly engaged at this point with what I'm going to tell you in a second. And they'll actually click through your page and go to your website and get to know you and buy your products and services. 
This works really, really well for people. So how do you go meet these people? Well, you join something called private Facebook groups. Maybe you've heard of them, maybe not, but private Facebook groups on Facebook are huge. And all you wanna do is set up the profile the way I just told you. Your job is your, is your Facebook page and your job title is click here to visit my page. All you gotta do now is go into groups around your industry and start just interacting and chatting with people. And they're gonna look up your profile and find you and then click through to your page and through to your site. It's one of the best ways that's working right now on Facebook. So it does take a lot of work, does take a lot of effort, but it does work. As you make more and more relationships in these groups, people are gonna come seek you out because they know, like, and trust you. It's gonna be really high quality traffic that does come through your site. And that's, that's probably right now the single best tip of doing it for free on Facebook that is working for people. It's growing their business. I've been doing it. It's been working really well for me. So that's my first tip is to use Facebook groups and set up your profile in a way where it's very easy for people to click through and get a hold of you and meet up with you. If you just leave your personal profile, they have no way to get back to your website and it's not gonna work, so that profile piece is key. The second thing, and I've talked about it a lot, guys, if you go to buildingsocialproof.com, I've got a ton of articles, pretty much everything you'd ever wanna know about Facebook ads, because that's what they want. They want businesses to spend money and pay for everybody else's good time and use ads. Don't be afraid of Facebook ads. They're extremely powerful, you know? Facebook doesn't treat you really good as a business if you do not want to pay them money and you want to do things for free with your page. But if you are willing to pay them money, they'll turn over the keys to the kingdom to you. They will work really hard to make sure their ad platform's really, really successful for you. So my second tip is to focus hard on Facebook ads. Now, some problems I see people make with Facebook ads, and the big one is, I'm just working with a client the other day, is just sending clicks to a site with no real plan. Facebook will rob you blind and take your money. I've made a lot of videos about this, guys. When you're doing your Facebook ads campaign, be very, very clear with yourself on what the goal of the campaign is. If you do something like boost a post because you want it to go to more people, that's what Facebook will do. They'll show it to a bunch of people. They'll charge you a bunch of money. They'll tell you you got a bunch of engagements for it. And that's the end of it. You know, you're probably not going to make any sales or, or get any customers from that. You'll just be like, I got all these engagements at 20 cents an engagement. I got a hundred engagements. Great. What did that do for you? Did it make you any sales? So be very careful in how you do your campaigns. I teach, I teach everybody, can you repeat what not to do again? Yes, I'll tell you guys what not to do. Now that came in from Periscope. See, so if you're watching this on YouTube, that's the kind of questions that come in on Periscope. What you do not want to do is make a Facebook page and spend your time trying to increase your organic reach. Should I make a video? Should I do a funny post? That sort of thing. It causes you to lose focus on the big picture. You need to focus on goals, getting a lead, making a sale. Those are the kind of campaigns you wanna set up with Facebook because Facebook wants to help you make sales. They wanna help you make leads. But when you do things like, here's another one, show it to as many people as cheaply as possible, Facebook. Give me the cheapest cost per thousand people you can show my ad to. You know what those campaigns look like? Facebook does what they wanted. It showed them to the cheapest people on the planet. But you know what? None of those people are qualified buyers. So you get these kind of posts that get stupid amounts of impressions and tons and tons of clicks, but they don't make any sales. You know, I, I was working uh, with, with a girl and she spent $180 on her campaign. She got 127 clicks to it. So she was like, you know, a buck, buck something a click, but she had five people sign up for her email list out of 127 clicks. So when we did the math, I don't know, she was paying like 30 or $40 just to get somebody on her email list. And it's only because she told Facebook to do the wrong thing. No ROI, no plan, just winging it. And you know what, when you do that, Facebook will take your money and smile and say thank you very much and leave you with nothing. So. That's what I got for you today, guys. I'm gonna make another video on Wednesday and give you some more tips. I'm not really sure. Usually I have my scopes planned out, but for this next one, I'm not really even sure what I'm gonna do it on, but I know it'll be something with social media. I know it'll be cool. Just to recap, guys, uh, where can you follow me? Yeah, well, on Periscope, hey, at Building Social, you can follow me there. 
uh, and you can go to buildingsocialproof.com. Go there, there's a little email box, you can sign up. I'll give you a really cool, very easy to follow social media marketing strategy you can implement for any business you want. It works great and you don't have to do it. You can do it on free traffic. You don't even have to buy ads. So anyway, guys, my name is Brian Fleming from buildingsocialproof.com and I'll talk to you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.